Shalom Yasha'ala. This is Yah Batazah here in San Angelo, Texas. Uh, let's go ahead and do an, uh, go ahead and do a lesson today tonight. Uh, it's 9:55, and we're about to come into this uh, so-called New Year, uh, uh, New Year's uh, day, night, whatever you want to call it, uh, approaching 2016. But uh, you know. While all these people are out there celebrating this, this pa pa paganistic type uh, holiday, you know, well, us brothers are out there doing these lessons and, and uh, you know, cursing these these days and uh, hastening the day of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? So I want to uh, take part in that as 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 always, day in and day out, you know. Condemning and rebuking this wicked place called America and Esau, the so-called white man, and these two-thirds. All right, to hell with your holidays, and uh, may the Most High bring judgment upon your people to tonight. All right, but uh, this is gonna be just real quick, and mainly to you scoffers, because to the spirit, when y'all uh, indulge yourselves in these types of uh, holidays and whatnot. Y'all are actually uh, actually uh, uh, saying that the Most High is not is not going to return. All right, that things are going to continue as they are, and the, you also got this uh, new New Year's resolution uh, that that comes along with this uh, new New Year, and a lot of people are are making themselves more uh, goals towards the future. You know, to have a better life, to have more money, whatever the whatever the New Year's re, New Year New Year's resolution is, all right. But we're here to tell you that that shit's about to fly out the window, man. And Yahweh by Shem is about to return, and it's and, and we're gonna continue to tell it, all right, until it, the kingdom come. The first scripture I want to get is Second Peter three, and three, knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. And that's, that's exactly what y'all people are doing tonight. Y'all are scoffing and it's celebration, celebrating and a new birth, all right, of a new year. To, to indulge yourselves in a, a, a new year of wickedness, all right. And y'all are scoffing at the Lord, man. And the Most High is not happy with you. All right, but when, I'm gonna get into and like I said through the spirit, y'all people are scoffing the Lord, even you you, you uh, so-called Christians and these wicked ass churches, man. All right, it says, uh, knowing this first that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lusts, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation, because since since the beginning, there's always been prophets. Uh, uh, cursing and rebuking you, fucking wicked people, man. All right, and 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 in certain periods of time, there was a, a judgments being put on t a certain kingdoms and what have you. But because it ain't coming down as a whole, and 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 taking wiping out all wicked doesn't mean that y'all y'all getting away free, man. All right, and th and this time Yahweh Shai is gonna appear in the heavens. All right, we don't care what you people think. We have faith. You don't. And that's exactly what y'all say through y'all's actions and saying, where is the promise of his coming? And you're, and, and you're scoffing at, at, at the prophets, starting with the elders, Elder, Elder Tahar, all the way down to the brothers. I don't know how it was in the Bible, it was in the name of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, under great millstone. Scoffing and mocking about us to, to, to you, to those that know of us. Y'all are probably right now uh, drinking and saying, oh, you know, they, they're saying that the Lord's coming back. You know, mocking and scoffing at us, man. We're going to see, though, you know what I'm saying? Like it says in Second Peter 3 and 4 and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. All right. So we're, 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 we're going to see, man, you know, and y'all are a bunch of scoffing ass people, man. Y'all are going to die horribly for that, man. Alright, next scripture I want to get is in Jeremiah uh, chapter 5, verse 12. It says, uh, They have belied the Lord and said, It is not he, neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. And the prophets shall become wind, 
and the word is not in them, thus shall it be done unto them. And there you go again, continue to, continuing with those wicked imaginations, man. All right, thinking you're gonna get away with uh, you basically y'all think y'all are y'all are more powerful than the Most High's word. Y'all think that y'all can uh extinguish these prophecies, man. All right. If this book was so untrue, why do you even care to even uh, say anything about it? Why do you why do you even care to try to discredit the brothers on the highways and the byways and what have you? Why is there atheists in the world? You see what I'm saying? So I, I looked up that word in Jeremiah 5 and 12. It says they have belied the Lord. I look up that word and, and uh, I Google searched it. It says uh, belie. It's a verb. Okay, it says of an appearance. Of an appearance, uh, fail to give a true notion or impression of something, disguise or contradict, and that's what y'all people say is that the Bible contradicts itself. All right, from the beginning to the end, Yahweh Shai always promised that He's going to come back, and the wicked were going to be judged accordingly. All right, and and brought to a full end, and then the sum of the synonyms is contradict. Uh, be at odds with, all right, and that's exactly what you two thirds are. Y'all are at are at odds with the prophets of Yahweh Shai and the Bible. Call into question, show proved to be false, uh, disprove, debunk, discredit, negate, and that's all y'all do. And through y'all's actions, y'all are trying to say that the Most High doesn't exist because you, your your actions. Uh, when you filter them through the scriptures, prove that you're wicked. Okay, that you're going off, and you don't want to. You don't want to go away from your uh, your lusts, your desires. All right. Uh, and then it says, uh, fail to fulfill or justify a claim or expectation. Like I said in uh, uh, Second Peter three, you said, uh, where is the promise of his coming? It says, like I said in uh, for one of the. The definitions for belay says fail to fulfill or justify a claim or expectation betray. And there you go, man. The same spirit was in the old time and it's going to be back in this time we live in today. It was in the time of Yahweh Shai. It was in the time of Jeremiah the prophet and before the prophets. There's no new thing underneath the sun. Okay. It says, uh, I'm going to read it one more time. Jeremiah 5 and 12. But they have belied the Lord and said it is not he. Neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. All right, because that's what we tell you. That's what the Bible tells you, that you're going to be judged according to your works. All right, and if you're not found right, you're going to be destroyed. Thus saith the Bible. And the prophet shall become wind, and the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done unto them. And you're, you're basically you're saying that the, the men on, on the highways and the byways that are, that are uh, representatives of Yahweh Shai, that we're nothing. Okay, next scripture I want to get is in Amos, Amos 9 and 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Verse 10, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right. So there you go. Yahweh Shai's eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, which is America, which is upon Esau's uh, uh, rulership. Okay, because he has his all his fucking doctrines and and bullshit is it's it's it's, it's all around the world, man. All right, but like Yahweh Shai said uh, in uh, Amos nine and ten, it tells us your mind frame. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's what y'all people are celebrating today. A new birth. A new rejuvenation. Alright. Uh, a, a, a new year's resolution. Alright. You're trying to recreate yourself. Alright. But really you're, 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 you're ushering yourself to clo and closer and closer to damnation. Until Yahweh Shai returns. He wants everybody to be perfectly full. As a... As, with, with, as a bottle overflowing to where it, when he bashes it, it's going to fucking, it's going it, to, you know, it's going to burst. Okay. Next scripture I want to get is uh, Isaiah chapter 14. 
Isaiah chapter 14, verse 26. It says, this is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. Which is that purpose? Is Yahweh Shai is coming back to, uh, to cast judgment. And to redeem the elect, the nation of Israel. Yasha Allah. Which is uh, you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. Alright. It says, this is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all nations. And that's Yahweh Shai. His, his hand. That's Yah Yahweh's right hand man is Yahweh Shai. For the Lord of hosts hath purposed, and who and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Right? Who 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 are you two thirds because you, you say, Well, where is the return of his promise? Can can discredit Yahweh Shai to, to prove that he does not exist, that his word is not is not uh, alive, it's not it's not valid. Who are you? Who are you two thirds when y'all in, in in the bars and these in these fucking house parties and whatever else you're doing for New Year's and your New Year New Year resolution? Think that the Most High ain't coming back? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what makes you think you can do that? Because Yahweh ain't showing his face. That's like a fucking kid that 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 you leave at the house and and you tell him not to do certain things and you walk out that door. And you show up in a time that they don't expect you. And, and you see them jumping around, fucking acting a fool. What do you do? What happens to you? You'll get your ass whipped. You'll get cursed out. And that's what all you grown ass people on the bars and, 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 and the, in these house parties tonight. Y'all are a bunch of fucking kids, man. And y'all about to get y'all's ass whipped by y'all shy, man. And the reason, you know, you, you will never, never understand why us brothers are mad. All right. Uh, Isaiah four, 14 and 27. Uh, it says, For the Lord of hosts hath purposed, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? All right. You can't turn back Yahweh Shai's word, man. This is uh, the book of Job, chapter 40, verse 8. It says, Wilt thou also disannul my judgment? Wilt thou condemn me that thou mayest be righteous? Now, that's how wicked you are, your people are, man. You think you're, you're so righteous, man. That you can push the most high in and out, wherever, this way, sideways, whatever. You can't do that, man. It says, Wilt thou also disannul my judgment? His judgment is to is to uh, is to uh, to put out wickedness, man. It's to extinguish that and to uh, bring back righteousness, you know, righteous judgment. All right. It says, "What thou also disannul my judgment? What thou condemn me that that thou mayest be righteous? Hast thou an arm like God, or canst thou thunder with a voice like Him?" Deck thyself now with majesty and excellency, and array thyself with glory and beauty. All right. It says, "Cast abroad the rage of thy voice, and behold every one that is proud, and abase him." All right. It says, "Look on every one that is proud, and bring him low, and tread down the wicked in their place." Which you can't do that because you're you're all fucked up in the head, and you don't know you don't have proper judgment. So you lift up wickedness. An example is tonight you people uh, uh, celebrating this day. All right, which goes all the way back to the Romans, man. This is not the the the, the, the beginning of a new year in the world, man, and on earth. It's the Passover. It says, for, uh, Joel 40 and 13, Hide them in the dust together and bind their faces in secret. Then will I also confess unto thee that, that that thine own right hand can save thee. See, and Yahweh Shai is just basically being sarcastic, saying, if you can do all these things, then hey, I'll say you can you can save yourself. But you can't, man. Alright? You can't. You cannot turn back Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, nor can you turn back his word. His word is written. Just like when Nebuchadnezzar was was uh, the, 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 the kingdom of Babylon was destroyed. All right, 
and then the arm the hand appeared out of nowhere and he, he wrote on the wall he says the writing was on the wall man the writing's on the wall your time is up okay next scripture i want to get and this is the last one all right none of you people can save yourselves all right you basically through your actions is prove that yeah you, you don't believe in Yahweh shy all right you're gonna continue to worship yourself. You worship the creature more than the, the than the Most High. All right. Matter of fact, let me just pull that one out real quick. Uh, this is uh, Romans. It says uh, Romans twenty uh, one and twenty one. It says because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful. But became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to a corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God, Yahweh, also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Right? You, you, you say that Yahweh Shai don't exist. And that you just hold this book up to make your feel, yourself feel like a, a certain type of way. That you're, you're, you're spiritual. Alright? Like this book is just written there to... to like it has wise words, the book of Proverbs. But there's no true power behind it as far as like a, a, a master creator has given you these words to comfort you. You've changed it into a lie. You belied the Lord. You tried to discredit Him. All right, but you're you're you're. It's not. It it hasn't worked. It's only worked towards yourself. It's become a stumbling block to yourself. All right, it's been it's destruction to yourself. It says, "Who has Romans uh, one and twenty five? Who had changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who was blessed forever." Amen. All right, so. You know, this is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whoso for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So y'all are deceived and the elect aren't. All right. So Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai are not mocked. And that's what y'all are doing tonight. Y'all are mocking at him and scoffing at him, man. And you could, you could say, oh, we're not doing nothing. It's all spiritual. You don't, you don't, you, you people don't understand it. All right, yeah. I wish I said separate yourself from this place, man. This place is not your rest, for it's it's polluted and it shall destroy you with the sword destruction. You don't understand that. All right, but again, like the scriptures say in Galatians six and seven, be not deceived. Yahweh was not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. All right. So, basically, I wanted to, to pull that out, uh, Akium. Uh, you know, you know, this is a wicked night. This is another year that we're jump going into in 2016, man. And, and all the signs are there that Yahweh Shai is getting closer. Uh, this devil's about to push that RFID chip. You know, uh, here in Texas, they have they, they they're passing that law for a, a, a open you know gun carry. You know, rifles and pistols. So there's gonna be you know we're gonna we're heading into some time into some times, man. That we're gonna we're gonna see some things, man. All right, but uh, I want to end it with that. Uh, I want to give all all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, the apostles. Much respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Uh, we're almost out of here, man, and and it's just a matter of time when Yahweh Shai is gonna come down, man. All right, but until then, Akim. Uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Barakatam Shalom.